hey, I've got a great idea. Why don't I take the lens cap off before I start recording? I think it's good. I think it would be great. Okay, um, also, I forgot to cut the light on, but I haven't learned how to edit yet. So, enjoy. Well, just enjoy this right here. Look at this. This right here is my chair. Isn't it lovely? There's my chair. Um, maybe I'll put this nice little fox lid right there for you so that you can enjoy the fox lid for a moment while I go and cut the light on. And I'm sure by now, um, we're going to get a little more warmth in here. Yeah? Do you think? No? That's a little too bright, you think? I don't know. We'll see. Here's the fun things. First of all, have you enjoyed the fox? You gotta admit, that's a beautiful fox. I like it. It goes on this beautiful little container on my desk. Isn't that cute? It's a little fox. I love it. Looks very, I don't know, foxy? Hey, that's where that's been. It's now the fox remote thing. Okay, so a couple of you guys have told me that um, when I'm recording, this background is too dark now. Sorry. <laughs> no. Um, well, or darker than usual. And uh, the really unusual thing about that is, is um, this actually should be a lot more light. So again, I am experimenting and getting used to all this you guys I forgot to um do my little thing that I always do before I record and that is I like to have shiny lips for you guys I don't know why uh this is the best lipstick lip gloss hello um and that it is just so gooey and wet and moisturizing <laughs> and it it really smells good and you know what this is guys this is stay glossy by Rimmel Rimmel. This is a um, drugstore cheapy. Like, I think it's a, um, I think it's like a couple of dollars, like three dollars. I'm sorry if I keep looking off to the side over here. Um, I'm getting used to looking at the viewfinder and seeing if I'm in focus. So, um, I did read some things yesterday, um, and see some videos that basically said, don't let the camera keep auto focusing. So, I gotta learn how to cut that off, but I wanted to get a video up tonight, so I'm doing that. Um, I'm speaking at a regular volume, so I hope this is gonna come through good because I was kind of in a quiet mood the other night, and so a couple of you said, "Hey, sound issues." I got gotcha. you. I also need to sanitize my hands because I just got home from work and my hands are not sanitized. I'm not sure why I need them sanitized, but just in case, <laughs> this is a great little sanitizer. Okay, there's a little box jumping around the screen. I'm trying to catch it. <laughs> what if I get behind that? Will it focus? Yay! I see what the guy means. It takes too long. Okay, so what we're just going to do is focus, not move too much, like focus before the video, not move too much, and then just leave it, and it will just be focused on me. Isn't that the idea anyway? Isn't it really all about me? <laughs> no, it's the stuff, isn't it? It's all the unimportant stuff in this world that we enjoy, and frankly, I think what it really is is it's a distraction from the problems of life. I have to tell you all about something today. There's a song. I'm a singer, and so um, I'm going to be singing this coming Sunday. And uh, there's a song. I, I've been a little frustrated, you know, hearing about all this stuff with Planned Parenthood and all these babies dying and then just seeing all the ISIS is, is still just killing people I think right now in Turkey probably a lot of other places um I think there's some more rioting going on there was some more um I don't know there's just so many bad things in the news that I was just really upset um there was some boys that stomped someone's Pomeranian to death and left it on their front doorstep with a note saying we beat your dog to death ha 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 and y'all I think I don't know why that was the last straw I think it's sort of like 
Cecil the lion. It, you think of it as something innocent, like babies aren't. And um, you, you, th you think, really? You know, but really there's even worse things going on. <laughs> Especially with things like ISIS and just all the stuff. And then, of course, all the political stuff of the different parties and things that are found out about this party and that party and this candidate and that candidate. And honestly, it was depressing. It was, um, I want to stay informed. And ladies, um, stay informed. I mean, I was talking to a lady at a conference and she was like, now, what is this ISIS? I'm like, really? You don't know about the the little children being beheaded, their mothers being raped, their fathers being hung? in Syria. You you don't know what ISIS is. Stay informed. I mean, um, because if there's something that you can do, you do need to do it. And sometimes I feel like there's nothing we can do. Uh, except write your congressman and they're not even doing so great lately. So I was just, I was really depressed. And, um, you know, I'm always joyful on this. Why am I getting such a deep subject matter here? But anyway, um, and I was really down. And this song, I'm going to put it up on my Facebook, and um, I don't know if you guys would want to go to my Facebook, but anyway, it's called Sons and Daughters of God. Now, even if you're not a believer, this would be an encouraging song, um, because it just, it talks, well, I don't know, maybe if, if you're not a believer, it would be encouraging to you to maybe consider it, but just the words in it we're talking about, with all the lies, with all the darkness, with all the, the struggles, um, we're not alone. He's right there with you. And instead of you trying to fix it, which you're not called to do, because you can't, you can't fix the heart of man. That's what it's about. Um, but you can stay close to God, and that will help you through. And it's it just spoke to my heart. And so I've just been like humming it. I've got to actually finish learning it before Sunday because that's not even the one I'm leading. I'm leading another whole song. Uh, but I'm doing a part with um, the male singer who that's actually singing this that I needed to learn it. So why was I telling you about this? I totally forget. I need to like start keeping a little notepad right here of things to talk about. And when you're on a major bunny trail, it's like, Beth, look down. Look at the trail. Look at the trail. Get off the, the bunny trail back to the regular trail. Did it have anything to do with the fact that I left the lens on from the beginning? Okay, I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn. Be patient with me. Please. Please. Um, I don't remember why I started telling you all about all that. I think it was going to be really good, too. Well, maybe I was just supposed to encourage you guys. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you ever have, like, bracelets that a lot of bracelets on at one time? And... They get out of position. Like, okay, here's my bracelets, right? And these are the ones that I like to wear pretty much most of the time. I may change the color of my Hermes. But um, but I like this one. This is that one that's the Asher Cut one I got that's a, a Jean Dussault from Home Shopping Club. These aren't real, y'all. Um, these are CZs. If they were real, I wouldn't have just got home from work because I would be owning companies. So, okay, so this, you wonder what I'm doing over here? I'm getting out my little Kate Spade. Um, I got this at Shop Glitzy Glam. That's Ellen Blair Fowler's here on YouTube's um, store. I think their mom runs it. And they, when they're in town, they help her work. But um, they have little employees. But I say little employees. Why do I say little? They are employees, full size. <laughs> but anyway, this says, um, make it stick. Isn't that cute? That's what that little brass plate says. And I just think it's pretty and girly that it's clear with brass. And y'all know that's my favorite accent. Metal versus chrome or pewter or all the things that are really in stone. I brush nickel. I don't like any of that. See, it already moved. I want this one on this side. And these two to stay together. Now, these are the two CZ bracelets that are made by Nadri. So, what I'm going to do is take a piece of tape. And I'm just going to tape these in position every day. Good. Now, they're staying in position. By the way, how do you like my fingernail polish? Is that pretty? That is my new Chanel Lavanda. It's part of the Mediterranean line, I think. But um, it's very, very purpley. And I thought it was probably too much for work because, um, you know, I don't know. I try to be more conservative at work. Like, I don't act like this. I wonder if they ever watch my videos. Oh, but anyway, I am what I am. Um, but I do try to be a little more conservative. And so this is kind of purple for work, isn't it? Oh, not to mention it doesn't match my lips at all. 
And Chanel does have a purple. I ordered it. I wonder if I could get it by tomorrow. Do you see this bracelet trying to jump? With the tape on. Look how he's trying to jump over. Get back. Okay. This is what I would call a ramble. Um, and I do see people on YouTube who've gotten millions of subscribers who just um, like to hear them talk. I hope my millions of subscribers like to hear me talk. Anyway, um, so I'm going to put this up now, but I wanted to show you, I also got the matching stapler. And look at the little brass inside the acrylic. Isn't that pretty? And it probably says something interesting in its brass, too. It's a little engraved. Oh, it says, keep it together. Isn't that cute? See the little engraving right there? I know you can't read that. Um, nothing on the end, just, you know, a stapler. But this is a cute little set that I got from Shop Glitzy Glam, and I love to always support other YouTubers, so... Um, and it looks pretty on my desk, because y'all know I, I video from my desk. By the way, a couple of you had brought, brought up about um, this looking darker in the background. I think that has something to do with it, even though the lights are brighter, um, that it's kind of highlighting what's in the background. And mine, it's not white. And it's probably not ever going to be white. I won't say that. But, um, yeah, I think I'm having a good hair day. What do you think? And um, I also just noticed this is the wrong earring size up here. <laughs> I'm also, I have to be honest with you guys, because I think that you, you know, I'm real. This is a little depressing to me to be able to see my face so much more clearly. It's not great, you know? I noticed this week, okay, so like, August 17th is my birthday. If y'all want to send me birthday wishes, I just love it. <laughs> I'm not one of those that goes, oh no, don't. I'm like, no, please, more and more. <laughs> but, um, I've noticed that these wrinkles that are down here, you know, the big cave one that makes you look like 100 years older, it's set this week.